unique gifts are being made from used bourbon barrels, including tables, signs, and coat hangers. Dean Stevens is out and about today with a Kentucky man who's making bourbon barrel guitars. Hey, good afternoon, guys. We are here at the Bourbon Barrel Guitar Company. We're like in the warehouse here where this young man here, Mike Mankel, started it all. Now, this is such a cool story because you said back in the spring you kind of had this idea. You didn't know whether it would work or not, but it's all revolving around a bourbon barrel head. Correct. Well, the head and the staves. And what I wanted to be able to do was build a really cool, good electric guitar completely out of a reclaimed bourbon barrel. And I got it figured out. And um, so I'm really excited about what I've been able to do and what I'm doing and what I'm going to do. Well, it's neat to see what you've been able to do. We'll let you get started okay. on kind of creating here. But I, I got to know, a lot of people are using these bourbon barrel heads for so many things. Who would have ever thought of a guitar? Well, I'm surprised no one has until me. Right. And if people have, they didn't do the proper work to document it. And um, But I did it. It works. I've, uh, I've built 11 of them so far. Uh, I've built a banjo, and I've got a lot of ideas for some stuff that's coming. So I'm just really excited. Yeah, well, we're excited to see it. So how does it work? All right, so what I'll do is um, I'll, I'll get the head to start with, and then I kind of have a pattern I use as far as, you know, what's the best way that it's going to look as yeah. far as the logo that way, the logo this way. And it doesn't – there's certain heads I really like as far as what, what the labels are. Some have none. Um, if the heads are too warped, I cannot use it properly. So, but I really like this one. It's really clean. Um, these people are great. And so what I do is there's, there's the thickness to start with. So I'll cut it and then I will, as these pieces, I will resaw them and cut them in half. And what I end up with is basically you see the thickness. Now I've got to re-glue this, but you right. see the thickness. Now that becomes the top and the back. Okay. okay. So then what I can do is get that glued up lay here and go okay I've got my ballpark idea and then I've got my kind of my frame pattern <laughs> <laughs> for when I'm gonna cut this because it has to be body specific because the sides are made from staves if you can see that so what I do is I cut them sand them glue them and they're never going to be the same because no two are. I, I don't use a pattern and make it everything exact. So each one is different and unique. And then what I will do at this point is I will just mark, you know, around this way. And then when I cut it, I'll, I'll cut outside of that. And then I'll, I will glue it up, turn it over, build a frame inside. So it's a semi hollow, if you will. Right. And, um, you said there's really a science to this. And the first one you made took how long? Uh, on and off about two months. Wow. But you've got it down to about. If my life isn't interrupted and I have everything I need, I can do one a week. <laughs> wow, really cool thing. I'm not to that point, though, because my not life yet. is frequently interrupted. Not yet. <laughs> Listen, so if folks want to check out the finished product that we're going to be showing here coming up at 450, you've got to stay tuned for this because they are absolutely beautiful. But they can also check out your website. What is it? It's uh, www.bourbonbarrelguitar.com. Dot com. Okay, check it out, bourbonbarrelguitar.com. And don't forget, tune back in at 450 because we're going to show you some beautiful bourbon barrel guitars. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about. Back to you guys.